Hi everyone, welcome to the Movie Exception Show. My name is Fariba, and I just came back from the movie theater and saw the highly anticipated movie, Deadpool Wolverine. I've been excited for a long, long time to see this, and I finally had the chance to go see it a couple hours ago with my good buddies. Um, so yeah, I just thought, you know, why not go ahead and do a movie review knowing that everything is so fresh in my mind. Um, I have a lot of things to say about it. Uh, before I even get down into my movie review, I do want to mention that I'm going to keep this review to non-spoilers for the meantime. Uh, just because I know the movie just came out. It's only, I, I saw it on like Thursday night. Um, so not many people have seen it yet, so I'm just going to keep it to non-spoilers at the moment. But I do plan to do a spoiler review as well. And maybe even just open up some discussion about it. So, but yeah, let's get right down into the film. Um, I will say this, before going and before the movie itself had came out, I was, the best way to describe my reaction going into the film is that I was anxiously excited. Um, like the last few days, I cannot even describe just the hype I was feeling for the movie. It was emotions that I haven't felt in a long time, not since No Way Home and even Endgame. Um, but this was definitely one of those cases where I was just like, oh my god, I, I'm actually genuinely excited to see this film. I even got to the point where I really wanted to go all out on the aesthetic on the alpha and just trying to get into the mood of it so you can see i'm wearing my deadpool <laughs> shirt right here i actually wore it to the theater um i actually have a one half of the best friends necklace the one that you see from the poster um, i actually bought that set um to give it to give one half to me and the other half to my buddy my friend marilyn has the other half so you can see i have the wolverine version she has a deadpool version um she even also has a wolver the yellow wolverine shirt just so she'll be wolverine i'll be deadpool i even bought some deadpool pants i even bought some deadpool jacket i literally went all out i was like i'm gonna go full on Deadpool mode in this movie not like that of course not like I'm gonna yeah uh, but I'm talking about like you know just the look just to get the feel of it just to be pumped about it again these feelings I've not had since No Way Home and Endgame and that's what I was feeling getting pumped up for this movie and of course I bought the popcorn bag and everything um so so yeah, now having, you know, shared my reaction to that, right? Like, let me also mention that even before this movie, I've been trying to avoid spoilers as much as I possibly could because I know spoilers are the worst because of the fact that I am in the United States that, you know, there's a lot of other countries that do get it earlier than us. And so things will, of course, will tend to pop up as spoilers on the internet, on Twitter, on YouTube. And here's the thing, it makes it very difficult for me because I actually work at a place where, you know, I need to use resources like YouTube and Twitter to do my job so definitely been a, a rough few days trying to avoid everything but i thankfully was able to avoid them because i mean I, and you'll see why when i get down to my review but yeah having said all that right so my experience pre pre movie experience right so what happened so how do i feel overall now coming out of theater so i will say this overall I had a blast watching Deadpool and Wolverine. I was laughing. I was smiling. I was jumping with joy. I was eyeing. I was astonished. These are the strong emotions I felt throughout the movie from the beginning to the end. I was having such a fun ride watching this film. I mean, I th there isn't anything in particular where I would say, you know, there could have been any sort of changes. And we'll talk more about that. But I had a blast. I saw it with my buddy, of course, Marilyn. So she was sitting next to me and we were just kind of like ooh and eyeing. But I have to say, this is a film that knew what it wanted to do and did so in a way that it paid off 100% of the way, knowing for the fact that, again, with everything that's been going on in the MCU, knowing for a fact that, you know, everything we know about Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds and just their feud and everything like that. Like, I'm mean, let me just say this, like, for two years, right? For two years, we've been waiting for this film. And then even before that, I've been following up on the whole friendly feud between Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds to see that happen off screen, but never to see that really happen on screen. And we only got a glimpse of that back in X-Men, you know, Origins, Wolverine. And even that movie was such a huge disappointment and really just underwhelmed with all of the whole playfulness between the, that relationship it's like will, will we ever actually get to see something like this ever and you know 
and when it comes to superhero genre ever to see this on screen and then of course the whole logan thing and then it's like okay well that's it for Logan and for Hugh Jackman because we're never going to get this because of the fact that Hugh Jackman technically retired. Then, of course, that was undone two years ago and now this. But yeah, I mean, all that really pays off. I mean, this is like years and years and years of excitement, years and years of waiting and building that finally comes that finally comes through with this movie. And again, it's just a bundle of joy just watching this film and the relationship between Wolverine and Deadpool. Um, I think one thing to mention, of course, that this is a film that is really, you know, hardcore. It's basically a film that's a hardcore fan service. That's the best way to say it, hardcore fan service. Um, and it does it so in a way that's basically perfection. Um, it, this is a film that knew what it wanted to do, what it needed to showcase, what it needed to do to really complement and celebrate just a comic book genre, particularly with the two characters, Wolverine and Deadpool. Um, this is a film that they really knew where, what direction it wanted to take. And, and in the end of the day, it was something that I had a lot of joy watching. Um, and I will say that, you know, if you haven't had any spoilers, try to keep it that way because you would not be able to join this film and enjoy the fan services without trying to have minimum idea of what's going to happen, what you've already seen so far from the trailers. You really want to keep it down to, okay, I know so-and-so thing, just a simple stuff. Let's go into a movie and see what else happens. And eventually when those fan services do actually show up, it's like you are having such a blast and you're just like, get, you're having this giddy, astonished moment. So that was one thing I want to mention, the cameos. Oh my God. <laughs> um, cameos in this film like what we saw in the trailers and the tv spots like those were just at the bare minimum there are far more bigger cameos in this movie that i would have even imagined there were a couple that i was speculating a little bit that i was like okay maybe there's a chance and some of them came out right some of them came out wrong but oh my god they they really do pay off um not in the big way of like not in the way that we saw in no way home but it's enough that you are happy you, by the time you get to the movie that you're happy to see these moments. Um, again, I'll talk more about this in the spoiler review, but but yeah, so great fan service, great cameos. Um, but I mean, I think the main thing that really makes this movie work is the chemistry between Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. Uh, their chemistry as Deadpool Wolverine is perfection. It's it's what really carries this movie this movie would not work if it wasn't for them if it wasn't them as the actors portraying these characters again we've seen them off screen for a long time playing this friendly feud only to see that you know we're just feeling short of this excitement because of the fact that we never got to see this on screen and now finally seeing it on screen for the first time and in a way that it, it does do justice to the characters aside from you know what happened with with you know wolverine origins one that I, yeah we don't speak about wolverine origins but with deadpool wolverine it, it's just amazing just seeing the relationship between them how they're i guess you can say their their mutuality evolves then how and then just the relationship between them and the playfulness and then the aggressiveness but then also just that the mockery and the ridicule like it is absolutely great just seeing these two guys interact that's what really carries this movie this is what makes just just what really makes this movie the way it is right that's the heart and soul of this film deadpool and wolverine hugh jackman and ryan reynolds and everything else is just a gimmick but the gimmicks like the gimmicks work because of Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds. I hope that actually makes sense. But 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 yeah. So this is a film that is filled with lots of gimmicks. Again, lots of fan service, lots of cameos, lots of great moments between them. Lots of great action, I will say. Like, especially some of the scenes that we do see with Wolverine and uh, Deadpool. I can't recall how much of, you know, the the how gory the Wolverine scenes were in some of the older movies. I feel like the Wolverine one, 2013 one, was probably R-rated. I can't recall, but... But definitely nothing compares to this. I mean, this is a film that goes all blood soaking on the action. It's, I mean, it's really, it works out for me. I had no issues with it. I absolutely had a fun time watching just how bloody some of the fight scenes are. 
um, with Deadpool, with Wolverine, they all work out. Um, and not just that, but again, everything else that happens around it, it's just absolutely great. Now, bef- would I say that this is the most perfect MCU movie that I've seen in my life? I will say no. Um, there are definitely some flaws to this film. Like, there's no denying that. Like, as I was watching this film, there are a couple things I was able to point out that I was like, oh, this is not exactly the greatest thing because there are some things I'm able to, you know, notice that were flaws. So, for instance, one, like, I, even though I mentioned that the action sequences were fun and great to watch, I will admit that there were a couple of areas where the CJ was a little bit off. Um, especially one scene in the beginning between Wolverine and Deadpool, it looked a little bit very video game-ish. Um, you can see that it, it like the way that things were kind of moving, it, it just didn't look natural or it didn't look at some, something that you would see in a movie. So there were a couple of CGI issues I noticed Like it wasn't like too bad where I was like, oh my God, this is such a horrible film that didn't even dedicate its time on VFX, but there are a couple of places where I noticed that the, the CGI needed a little bit more time to be completed. So one thing right there, I think one another issue would be the villain um, played by Emma Corrin. I think Emma Corrin overall, like her, uh, their performance was pretty decent. Um, I'm actually familiar with their work from The Crown because I've watched their, uh, watched the portrayal as Diana. So I knew a lot about their work and I was excited to see their work in this movie um, and the performance that they were able to put in. And I think for overall, they do put a pretty decent performance. I think, again, the issue that I'm seeing here in this movie is just more so, again, the the villain problem, right? The typical villain problems that we see with Marvel movies where they where the villains typically don't have the most deep storytelling and character development. So... That was a little bit where I was like, okay, yeah. I mean, but again, this is not the the main thing is not the villain. The main thing is Deadpool, so that's where they dedicate more of their focus on. So I was okay with the fact that there was gonna be a villain problem. I, again, I, that was something I was expecting anyway, so it wasn't one that I was like that really ticked me off or anything like that. Yes, it's a little bit on the weaker side, but not in one way that I was like, oh man, I wish they just could have just fixed this. Like I never had that sort of reaction. Um, I will say the big thing that that really did stand out is the fact that the plot is relatively um how do I it's relatively on the weaker side it's not the strongest plot um especially when you start going through the film and you're like watching what's happening and there isn't really a much of a progression where you start to see the depth of the characters now that's not to say that there weren't moments in the film where we got to see some emotional bits there definitely were like we've seen in the trailer where Logan is dealing with some deep, dark parts in his life, how he's feeling the guilt and regrets of his life. We got the we got a we got a little glimpse of that in the trailer. We do get some of those, um, but it's not in a way where it's really deep or it flows in a way that helps with the storytelling. Just because everything else is so focused on the fan service and. Um, the relationship between the characters that it doesn't dedicate as much time and trying to develop a plot um, in a way that you would have wanted. So again, I will say that the plot, there was no plot due to the fact that there was so much of the fan service. So the fan service came in expense of the plot because the plot was kind of weak to not really being there. So, but again, for me, that wasn't really the big deal. I think even with the flaws for this movie that I've just mentioned, like I think those are the three ones I would say really stood out being some of the flaws. It doesn't take away the fact that I had such a blast watching this movie. I was having fun. I was laughing. I was crying, as I said before. This is a film that knew what it wanted to do in terms of being a fun movie. This is a, this is what it is. This is a film that was purely about entertainment, fun, being a joyride, being so in the way that it actually gave fans something that they've been hungry for for such a long, long time. And now here it is after like almost a decade, we finally got to see something finally happen on the big screen. I think that is what really mattered in this film. Now, in terms of references, I will say that I may have caught about 80 to 85 percent of them Um, because there's just so much like there's I will say the, the breaking the fourth wall is astronomical in this movie like in comparison to what we saw in Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 it it doesn't even compare to just the amount of 
fourth wall breaking in this movie. It's absolutely just off the charts, on both in universe and off universe. Um, and I think I caught maybe about a good eighty to eighty five five percent of the, of the of some of those references. So. I will be rewatching this film with that a doubt just because I had so much fun watching this movie. I mean, I was like, by the time the movie had ended, I'm just looking at them. I was looking at my friends. I was like, oh my God, guys, I had so much fun watching this. There was even one part, like, I will say this. With the fan service and with some of the cameras that we did have, it made me such a very happy person because, again, it's just these moments that I, you know, would just have, like, pipe dreams of. And would not have imagined that they would actually happen on the big screen. Then to only see them happen in big screen, I was... There were moments where I literally was just like, oh my god, I'm holding my face. Just like, is this a reality? I, it, It's just so hard to explain just my reaction just because they are so unique. There's a reason why I go to these movies on their first day. Because one, because of the crowd. And two, because, you know, this is the first time I'm watching it. I'm doing something in a way that I'm trying to avoid spoilers and delaying it would only just risk the fact that I would be getting I would be you know uh exposed to those spoilers um and yeah I mean just all that really paid off just like like just trying to avoid all of that but but yeah I had such a great time watching some of the scenes in this film there was even at one point I'll say this um I, by the time we got to the end of the movie again I, I'm gonna keep this as non-spoiler there was one moment in the film that once we got to that point i was actually this close to tearing up not because of sadness or anything like that but just because of the joy and the happiness i was feeling like i was this close to actually tearing up just because like this is everything i would have imagined um for a long time in the you know marvel like in just about any marvel movie again things that you would imagine are just pipe dreams only to see that actually happened in this movie and i think that overall the team knew what they wanted what they needed to do the team knew that uh that this is a film that because of the fact that it is so involved with wolverine and deadpool and them finally teaming up together in this movie that they did what they needed to do was just to make it such a fan servicey type kind of film in a way that this is a movie that is dedicated to the fans um and yes there will be some people who will probably call out some things like you know the plot not being the most developed or even that complex or anything like that again i i i even wasn't able to note those but that doesn't take with the fact that i had a huge i had a great time watching this movie i think that if you are a big marvel fan who has been following you know not just the marvel cinematic universe but been following since the x-men time the spider-man time then you're truly going to appreciate this movie. Like this, this is a movie that is dedicated to us, that's dedicated to them, knowing that this is what we've going through this journey for for such a long time. And here it is, like, oh my God, like this is what I like it, it, it will even exceed everything that you would ever imagine. And I think it's definitely worth worth watching as soon as possible. Um, I think what definitely did also help was the fact that I actually did rewatch a lot of the X-Men movies leading up to this movie. Um, like, literally, the last two, three days, I was watching nonstop X-Men movies, like X-Men, X-Men 2, X-Men 3, Deadpool, Deadpool 1, Logan. Um, I did not get to see Days of Future Past, or I, I, did, I only got up to half of the 2013 Wolverine movie, but I, I would say that even then, I don't think that's really necessary to watch. But... I think that really hyped me up that just getting to this point that it, it really enhanced my whole experience of it just because there are definitely some moments that like now that I'm, I watched that I have actually you know did the rewatch that I'm now watching it in the movie itself I was like ah I caught these references um again I think this was such a blast to watch I I, I mean it, again it's really hard to express just my emotions throughout this film just because Again, this is something that I haven't felt in such a long time. Will this be the answer for Marvel who has been in shambles for the last two, three years? And that's not to say that it's been on shambles. I mean, I to me personally, there have been some good material coming from Marvel Cinematic Universe post-Endgame. Um, there are definitely some really quality stuff that I will say are actually not bad. But it doesn't take away the fact that there has been some quality issues in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And I think this is the perfect answer to the actual franchise to revive itself. Um, now, will it maintain it going into Captain America, uh, Brave New World, which comes out in about 
six months from now wow six months six months from now um we would have to see but i think this is what marvel really needed the fact that they took a little bit more time for it it's great um again it's not the perfect movie it's not like i, I even when it comes to storytelling it, it's not comparable to what we saw with infinity war or endgame or anything of that sort but Again, it's a fan service that that really truly works in this movie. And again, I think that even as an audience member, this is what I really needed, um, and it really pays off. I think that's the best way to say it. it really pays off. It's hardcore fan service, hardcore cameos, <laughs> um, incredible relationship between Deadpool, Wolverine, and just the team up again. Something that we have been waiting for such a long time finally paying off after so many years. Um, I will be rewatching it. Without a doubt, I'm planning to see it at least one or two more times. I have not figured out how I'm going to plan that out just because my schedule is really busy this week because of the whole San Diego Comic-Con thing. Um, which, funny enough, we Marvel is coming back this year. So can't wait to see what they're going to address about that, especially now that the movie has come out. And it's actually coming out the same week. But... But yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna be seeing it again without a doubt. One because I just want to enjoy it once again, and two because there were a couple of references I may have missed. Again, I think there's maybe about twenty twenty percent that I may have missed, so I want to cash those up the second time. But yeah, I'll be watching it again. I mean, this is something that uh, you know it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, <laughs> so um, I, I want to embrace much of the experience as possible so i will be watching it again at some point i hope to see it again sometime this weekend but yeah that's all to say about deadpool wolverine that's my review right there i hope that you know with my excitement and just kind of what i have to say about the film pre during and post that it tells you why this movie is such such an incredible joy right as it is i recommend again if you're a marvel fan or definitely hardcore Die hard Marvel fan, watch it without a doubt. Even if you are a casual Marvel fan, I would say still go ahead and watch it. I had a couple casual, uh, you know, I wouldn't say fans, but casual moviegoers who went to go see it and they still had a good time watching it. Um, and hopefully, I, I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do a spoiler review, but maybe hopefully by the end of the week, so maybe like a Sunday or Monday, I get to take the chance to talk a little bit more about some of the spoiler stuff and maybe even dissect them and discuss them but but yeah uh that's all I have to say about Deadpool Wolverine right there if you have seen Deadpool Wolverine what are your thoughts um did you like it did you not like it what are some things that you really thought were probably the pros for this film but what are some things that you may have noted were the flaws if you even considered any of them as flaws what do you think and what do you think about this in terms of just the marvel cinematic universe in general do you think this is the answer to what the franchise need especially after having so many problems with some of the other projects and how there has been that huge discussion about you know the quality of it is there really superhero fatigue is this superhero fatigue i mean would this be a testament to that or would you say yeah no this is not the testament to that um are you gonna be watching a couple more times like i am are you planning on doing that uh do you think there is any chance that we'll probably see more of deadpool wolverine together which i mean again i'll talk a little bit more about this in the in the spoiler one but if you want, it's just address that. What are your thoughts about that? And let me know if you have any thoughts and concerns about this movie. Let me know your thoughts below. Make sure to like and subscribe.